This morning in Your Money, we are helping you retire when you want. Here with his advice, Jeffrey Massey of Massey and Associates. Good morning, Jeffrey. Good morning. Thanks so much for coming in. Always a pleasure. All right, let's start off. Um, what is the primary action that our audience should take into consideration? And you've got five things that folks should do, especially when they turn 50. Well, certainly by 50, mm -hmm. you know, you want to be uh, maximizing your retirement plan. If you have a retirement plan at work, then you absolutely should be targeting 10 to 15 percent of your gross income to be putting into your retirement plan, assuming you have one. A lot right. of companies don't offer them, so if they don't have a retirement plan at work, establish an IRA account, and if you're younger and under 50, I would say younger, Sure. do a Roth IRA or a 401k Roth, and that means you're not getting a tax deduction for the contributions you're making, but it will grow tax deferred, and the best part, it'll come out income tax free in retirement. Which is really good. It's huge, because yeah. taxes are going up. We already know they're scheduled to go up mm -hmm. in 2026. And the second bracket, there's a 25% increase coming. 25%, people aren't, aren't paying attention. Right. So it's, it's a concern. So pay today's taxes, let it grow tax deferred, let it come out tax free, but maximize your retirement account savings is the primary thing you should have in place by age 50. Now, a couple of questions. Are you seeing companies uh, slowly kind of do away with the, the retirement plans? Or like when we were kids, you'd hear <laughs> your father, your grandfathers, grandmothers had great retirement plans. Companies are slowly mm -hmm. making those go away and you have to seek other options. Yeah, more specifically, they had defined benefit plans, mm -hmm. which means, like my dad told me when I was coming out of school, right? <laughs> yeah. Get a good job, <laughs> right. work for a company the rest of your life, get a gold watch, and you get a pension. Yeah. Well, the pensions are going gone. the way of the dinosaurs. Right. You know, they're, they're gone. Very few companies still offer those. Mm -hmm. So now you're on your own. So the companies have taken the burden of supporting that pension and put it right on your shoulders. Sure. Now, look, here's a, here's a mechanism. Here's a, it's a retirement plan. Good luck put your money in. Now, if, if your employer does have a plan and they offer matching, absolutely, you need to put in at least that much. Mm -hmm. After that, you maybe look around at different things if you want to, but maximize that. That's free money. Right. Um, what are some of the other tips? Because I know you, gotta, you have a few more, too, for yeah. folks. Um, reducing your, your expenses, overall lifestyle expenses, take a look at that. Um, don't add on more debt. And a lot of people will say, you know, I want to buy a second home. Uh -huh. Well, now you increase debt, you've got a, a secondary mortgage, and that might not be in your best interest, or buying a luxury vehicle. Right. If it's not really easy for you to afford, and if you're not saving that 10 or 15%, don't buy a luxury car, because it just works against as you. As nice as they are. <laughs> and as much as we love our children and grandchildren, uh -huh. don't take on debt to pay for their college. Right. Because this is your retirement. Because if you don't take care of yourself financially, Ultimately, you could end up being a burden on them in the long run. Right. And that's what you want to try to avoid. And a lot of times everyone says, take care of yourself first and then take <clears> care <throat> of everything else as yeah, it goes that, along. That word selfish gets a bad rap. Right, because but in that true. instance, if you don't take care of business and set up your finances appropriately, you could become a burden on your family. Right. And that would be unfortunate. Are you seeing people lucky enough to be able to retire earlier than ever before? Amazingly so. That's great. Yeah, just, just this year. I think we've, we've helped of like five people, five couples, retire under the age of 60. And man, what a relief that must be for folks, too. Well, it's a relief. In one case, a um, wonderful couple, both of their moms are having medical issues. So they were able to, to retire right? because, A, they don't have an extravagant lifestyle, yep. and they've just committed to saving for retirement. That's and then they're, they're able to retire right. and both now spend a lot of time with their moms. Yeah, and well, what's better than that? That's great you news. Know, yeah. that's thanks, awesome. thanks so much for coming in. Great advice. Hopefully everybody can retire a little earlier. Now to review this uh, Your Money segment, you can head on over to Roadshow.com.